Now it's time for Culture Talk, where we talk about culturally relevant topics that you can use to start conversations about your faith. And I'm joined today with astrophysicist Jeff Swearing. Thank you for joining me. Good to be here, Sandra. <laughs> I'm excited because we're, we're going to be talking about the Big Bang, and that's kind of like, ooh, kind of a, some Christians don't really like that word and like thinking about the Big Bang as, you know, what uh, caused the universe to mm -hmm. exist. Um, but we're going to talk about it because I think it's an important topic. Good um, deal, because I've been on both sides of this issue in my life. So. <laughs> oh, well, th tell me about that. Well, so when I, when I grew up, uh, as I started in college, really started studying the Bible, uh, Bible said earth was created, in, or the notes in my Bible says the earth has to be six days old. And so I thought, well, that's not what science says. And yeah. so I'm uh, kind of looked at Big Bang as almost, hey, this is kind of the way Christians get, or people get around there being a beginning to the right. universe. Right? And then as I studied more, it's like, no, this is actually a more complex topic. And I actually yeah. think Big Bang is one of the more powerful evidences for God at this point. So. Yeah, and I think that that's a huge stumbling block for some people because that is the impression that mm -hmm the Big Bang is a, a way to get around God existing. It's like, no, God right. didn't create the, the heavens and the earth. The Big Bang did. Um, but you're saying that that actually is a compelling reason to believe in the God of the Bible. I mean, how so? Well, I mean, there's two aspects of it. One is there's this misnomer that pe the scientists were thinking, oh, there's evidence for God. We're going to invent this Big Bang to get around it. Well, you look at the history of cosmology through the... Uh, 20th century and into the 21st century, and what you see is that the as scientists propose theories, they are trying to get away from a beginning, actually. Uh, they've got the steady state cosmology, they've got oscillating universes, mm -hmm. even the multiverse. They're all kind of trying to get away from a beginning. And, and ultimately, the universe keeps pushing us back into this model, or the, the data seems to support this idea that the universe had a beginning, the universe is expanding, the universe is growing larger, and there's constant laws governing the universe. And that, that's basically the essence of Big Bang cosmology. Mm -hmm. What I find fascinating is not only have scientists kind of been forced into that, but that's actually the description of the universe I see in Scripture. Mm -hmm. Genesis 1-1, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Mm -hmm. uh, Bible talks about how the, the universe is being stretched out. God is stretching out the heavens. The, the reliability of how creation behaves is ultimately anchored in God's character. Mm -hmm. So you've got constant laws, you've got expanding universe, you've got a beginning of the universe. That, that, that is remarkably consistent with the way the Bible yeah. describes the universe. Yeah, so I think that that is very compelling. But now, like there are articles out there saying that maybe there wasn't a Big Bang. So what is that all about? Because that was the scientific consensus, kind of, that there's a Big Bang that started it all. Mm -hmm. So now there's talk of there maybe not being a Big Bang? Well, it, that, there's a little bit of subtlety in there, mm -hmm. and, and uh, there's kind of two usages of the term Big mm -hmm. Bang. Big Bang is from this early hot, dense state, the, exp the, the development of the universe. Mm -hmm. And yeah, people describe our universe as a Big Bang universe. You've got, uh, you know, like I said, it, it expands, it cools off, constant laws govern, you got stars, planets, galaxies mm -hmm. form. That's Big Bang cosmology as a lot of people talk about it. But then there's this other notion of did the universe begin to exist? And there are people that are questioning whether the, there's a beginning or that, uh, you know, our standard Big Bang model actually has a beginning. And it, so, so you just got to realize there's two usages of the okay. term, and really people are getting at that second usage, not the development of the universe since. So the second usage is, was there really a beginning? Correct, yes. And so what is the scientific consensus so far? Is Was there really a beginning? Well, we... If I'm direct and honest, we yeah. don't have the tool we need to answer that. Okay. Now, there's a whole lot of evidence that seems to be pointing in that way. So, I mean, you've got the space-time theorems that Hawking and Penrose developed. Uh, you know, there are some exceptions to those. There's the, uh, you know, even you throw in inflationary cosmology and the multiverse, and yet that still seems to have a beginning. But really, to answer that question, we need a quantum theory of gravity, and we don't have that. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, lacking, you know, recognizing that to truly answer the question, we need the quantum theory of gravity. What we can do is step back and say, what does the evidence seem to be pointing? And you know, as, as I look through the history of cosmology over the last 115, 20 years, scientists repeatedly propose ways of getting around a beginning, but yet the universe seems to keep pushing us mm -hmm. back to the idea that there's a beginning. And so that's what I expect will happen when we find that quantum theory of gravity. Yeah. Now, what if, what if uh, scientific discovery shows that there wasn't a beginning? Does that then negate all beliefs that say that there was a beginning, including Christianity? So so that gets in, 
to you kind of have to answer what what's going on there because right. you know you're getting into very scientific and technical. What does it mean for a beginning? How mm -hmm. does that play out? You also have to apply that same sort of analysis to scripture because mm -hmm. you know I mean even if we're talking in Genesis one, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Well, the heaven and the earth is all created things. Well, that's space, time, matter, and energy. What the Bible doesn't tell us is how long time existed. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's it's there are ways where. Time is still a created quantity, but it may be infinite into the past. There are people who have played oh, with yeah. that. And mm -hmm. so, uh, you yeah, there's a lot of subtleties there that it's hard to say, well, if there's no beginning, that means Christianity is wrong. But it does seem to be very much the flavor where Christianity and what the Bible speaking says, yes, there's a beginning. And so I really expect that that's what we're going to find. Uh, but, you, you know, Christians have disagreed on whether that's, that's an absolute necessity or not. So let me just ask for those who are unfamiliar with who you are, mm -hmm. um, explain very, very briefly about the work that you do so that there's a, an understanding that you you do, you are in this field. <laughs> well, yeah, so I'm, I'm an astrophysicist. Mm -hmm. So I look at how the universe right. works. I've done research into gamma ray astronomy. Yeah, it's, it's my particular specialty. I'm doing some studies on dark matter right now. And so just very interested in how the universe works and particularly these cosmological issues. Right. And so I find it a great, fascinating area to study. Scientists have spent a lot of time working on this and I know a lot of them. And so right. it's just kind of neat to see what we're finding, but uh, you know, again, I just find it remarkable that with all that we've learned, the best models still seem to have a beginning in them. Right. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much for just taking the time to kind of explain. You give a lot of words, um, and so inflationary theory and like all this stuff. <laughs> right. So if you are wanting more information, because this is a big topic, um, go to reasons.org and you can search for Jeff's blog, Multiverse Musings. You can also look for his book, Escaping the Beginning.